<laughs> Art can be found everywhere. But it all began somewhere. For the students at Hemfield, it began at the elementary schools. All right, five, four, three, two. Well, artists, this is what it's like putting an art show together. The art show at Mountville Elementary School showcases the students' art and displays the skills they've grown through their lessons. So the um, complexity in concept grows and their process gets, I guess, more integral to the artwork. Artistic growth at Mountville is an experience familiar to former student Madison O'Connor. Throughout elementary school, I like started picking up more and more techniques and more and more people were inspiring me and I just kept getting better and better. Madison's talent for art was able to flourish in her elementary classes. Really were invested in creating and making attempts and um, invested in the quality. It was always like didn't really have to ask to try or to make things look high quality. It was, it was something innate. Madison's elementary classes provided the base she needed to begin her art career. Once I hit sixth grade and I was with Mr. Palmer, it really like opened up my eyes and I realized like this is something I could really do for the rest of my life because I really enjoyed the environment I was in, the people I was um, talking to, and the people I was creating art with. and. It just really like made me who I am today. In fact, today Madison is still pursuing her art in high school and was impressing her teachers with just her first few paintings. It was just so beautifully painted. The marks looked really confident. I made like a few suggestions here or there and she just like really ran with them. And from, from that painting, I could see that she was already looking at different tones. She was already looking at different intensities. She was really just at a higher end and I was just like, okay, I got a great student here to work with. Madison's art has developed from more than just the curriculum, but through the personal relationships that come with it. One of the things that really helps is um, the rapport that we have with kids because art needs to be a really safe space. And I don't think that you can get creative juices flowing and you can problem solve without feeling like you're getting supported as a student. So yeah, like I have a personal connection with Miss K. I feel like I can tell her anything and if I didn't have that connection with some of my art teachers, it wouldn't be the same because I wouldn't feel like as comfortable in my environment and as I wouldn't be able to express myself in the same ways that I do. The foundation that Madison built in the art program allowed her skills to further develop. Now I've noticed over time that she's thinking a little bit more conceptually. So she's thinking about what each object means that she's painting, how she's going to compose in order to have a more like visual communication and things along those lines. Hemfield's art program has provided several opportunities for students like Maddie to display their art. I put a monarch on a flower. It was a hibiscus from Hawaii and it was the reference picture was from my mom and I made it look like it was a photograph with a butterfly sitting on top of it and I submitted that to the Scholastic Art award show. At Hemfield, Madison found the opportunity for art to become a huge part of her life. I would not have found out that I wanted to be an art educator if I didn't go through Hemfield art program because all of my teachers along the way have guided me and shown me that I can do it and I can push through and even if I'm having like a block and I can't think of any ideas it will always come to me in the end and I will always be inspired by the people around me, and I will always enjoy doing and making art. Madison's passions and skills for art will continue to develop along with her peers in Hempfield's art program. For Hempfield Happenings, I'm Maddie Olson.